Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I would like to share how to create histogram with unequal class width by using SPSS. First, we need a normal histogram. Go to Grass. Look for Legacy Dialogs. Click on Histogram. Move the variable of interest to variable. Click on OK and we should obtain the histogram. Double click on the histogram. Double click on the bus. Go to beginning, click on custom, click on interval width. Decide an interval width that is suitable for most of the classes. If you want majority of the classes to have class size of 5, then we type 5. If you want 10, then we type 10. Apply. Add labels. We can go to textile to increase the preferred size. For example, increase to 12. Apply so that we can see the number clearly. Close this and we go to data view. Transfer these numbers to data view. If you want to create an equal class width for the histogram, we should take the points that split by the class interval, which means that for each class, we should give two numbers from the lower limit to the upper limit. If you want to combine the first two classes, which means that for the observation of 27 of them, we should start from 140 to less than 150. Less than 150, we can take 149.9999. Take the number that is as close as possible to the limit. Also 27. For the next class, if you want to remain as class size of 5, we should have 150 to 154.9999. And how many of them? 68. Next class, we have 155 to less than 160, so 159.9999. And how many of them? We have 218 and so for the rest of the classes. If you want to combine the classes from 180 to 200, also the same, 2 points 180. Since 200 is the last class, we don't have to take 199.9999, but we can simply take 200. And how many of them? We just have to add up the observations. Altogether, 50 of them. We can determine the adjusted frequency or standard frequency manually or if you want to compute by using SPSS so which means that we must tell what is the class width first for 140 to 150 class width 10 then majority of them 5 5 5 5 5 and for the last class should be 20 since it's from 180 to 200 Next, move to variable view, name the variables that we just added. For the second column represents the class boundary, we can use short form CB, which represents the height. We can also set the decimals to zero. And for the third column, frequency, set zero. And the fourth column, class width, also set zero. Now proceed to compute the adjusted frequency. Go to transform, compute variable, target variable. We can type short form AF for adjusted frequency, or we can also use standard frequency. Click on continue. According to the formula of adjusted frequency, it's equal to standard class size which the class size occurs the most we have five times frequency click on frequency right divided by class width right click on ok and we should obtain the adjusted frequency as we can see the decimal with number is only one so we can change the decimal to one after already obtained the adjusted frequency and also the class boundary, we need one more variable to let SPS to know which class they represent. 
which means that we need a class code. Back to data view. This is the first class. So one and one, second class, two and two, three and three, four and four, five and five, six and six, seven, seven, eight, eight. All together we want SPS to construct eight classes. Before constructing the histogram, two aspects we should take care. Firstly, make sure all the levels of measure are being defined. Back to variable view, go to measure, check. This is not defined, so click. We can define as ordinary since this is class code. Secondly, weight the data. So go to data, weight cases. We should weight according to the adjusted frequency. Click on OK and we should now be able to construct the histogram. Go to graphs, go to chart builder, click on OK, choose area, double click on the stack area, move the variable of interest, the height class boundary to x acid, and for the y acid, instead of using histogram, use count. Click on apply and for the type instead of using straight we use that click on apply and for the stack the set color we use the class code click on titles or footnotes click on title one and we can add name for the chart Click on apply. If you think that the name is too long, we can make use of the second line. Click on OK and we should obtain the histogram with unequal class width and hence we done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.